Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this Ramadan reminder, insha'Allah ta'ala, we're going to speak about a beautiful hadith. The hadith of Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu that is narrated in Al-Bukhari and Muslim that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, قَالَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلْ that Allah mighty and majestic said, كُلُّ عَمَلِ ابْنِ آدَمَ لَهُ إِلَّا الصِّيَامِ فَإِنَّهُ لِي وَأَنَا أَجْزِي بِهِ All of the actions of the children of Adam are for them. Except for fasting, it is for me and I alone will reward for it. This first part of the hadith, it tells us that fasting has something very, very special about it. And this is explained further in a narration of Al-Imam Al-Bukhari Rahimahullah Ta'ala in which it mentions that every deed comes with ten like it. Every single good deed Al-Hasanatu bi ashri amthaliha it comes with ten that are like it. Up to seven hundred times except for fasting. Because nobody knows whether you are fasting except Allah Azza wa Jal. You can say I'm fasting but nobody knows that you haven't snuck in the corner and drank some water or eaten something except Allah Azza wa Jal. It is between you and Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala alone and nobody knows it except that. And because of the extreme sincerity in this action and because of the the distance uh, that showing off it's made distant and it's not likely to happen because it's something that is not known except by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then the reward for fasting is not under the same category as those other rewards. Those other rewards, every good deed comes with 10. 10 can be multiplied up to 700, except for fasting. And fasting is something that Allah azza wa jal has prepared a beautiful and a special reward for. And what we should take from this short reminder is we should realize the virtue of fasting. And we should have ihtisab, we should have good, a good impression and a desire for reward from Allah, knowing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to reward us for our fasting insha'Allah ta'ala in a way that we are not rewarded for any other good deed. So it's something to be pleased about, it's something to motivate us to get the best quality out of our fasting possible. And in the future reminders, insha'Allah ta'ala, we will continue with this hadith and look at the other benefits of how we can perfect our fast. First of all, by realizing the virtue of the fast and by motivating ourselves to fast in the best possible way. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best. Wassalatu wassalam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi.